Anna here. Uh, welcome in my first video with January Hip Kids. I will be creating a layout for Mixed Media Monday and uh, I found those three Instax pictures uh, of my little baby girl Maya. It was taken like I think about four years ago, maybe a little more, and I totally forgot about those pictures. Uh, well, I bought an Instax camera, but I am totally not a fan because the pictures are, well, <laughs> weak and uh, usually out of focus. Maybe I just can handle this camera and it's perfect, but I I don't like it, uh, so I am not playing with it anymore. Sorry for growing as extra hands. <laughs> It's my daughter helping me to scrapbook. Uh, she's sick, so uh, she is usually bored and helps me with everything. Yeah, helps me. Uh, it's not a good word, I would say. I used a white cardstock uh, from a cardstock kit. It's a white basil uh, cardstock called marshmallow uh, it's much much thicker than usual cardstock and it's dedicated for mixed media projects and the, it can handle a lot of moisture because of its thickness and heaviness so you don't need to apply gesso first it won't wave it's really perfect uh, I started with applying a little bit of this light blue paint it's one of the Vicky Boutin paints this set is a cold set um, it was included in one of the older hip kit hip kits. Uh, it was in the color kit with three other paints. But with the new collection, uh, Vicky Boutin re released those paints, so you can uh, buy them. Uh, they are exactly the same colors, but they have this new packaging, um, and you can you can purchase them. Uh, I also added uh, this pink uh, Tutti Fruity Dazzlers uh, fruit stencil. It's from Shimmers and I have it uh, for a longer time. I am not sure if it wasn't uh, included in some of the kits because color add-on kits usually carry uh, Shimmers products. So it's really possible that it was included in some of the kits. Now I'm just playing with the composition, trying to arrange uh, stuff around my page. I knew I have to use all three pictures because if I wouldn't they would just stay in my picture box forever and I would never uh, scrap them. Uh, they are not perfect, they are uh, fuzzy and out of focus and uh, they have different color combinations because they were taken in on three different days but still I want to combine them together and put them on the layout. Instax Pictures has this uh, main flow that you don't have another picture. If you lose the picture or if you destroy the picture, you won't ever have a chance to get a copy of it. Maybe there are some possibilities to scan them. I am not sure. I've never heard of it. And sorry for those noises. It's not a herd of cows. They are only my children walking down the stairs. Yeah, it's a busy <laughs> Saturday at our home and I also uh, wanted to frame those pictures with some uh, paper scraps and I wanted to add a little bit of contrast by using this exclusive paper. Uh, the white and black stripes are from one of the exclusive papers and January kits are filled with exclusive papers. We have this pretty floral paper designed by Kim Watson. We also have this pink with dots paper uh, with the yellow back uh, side which I used uh, uh, un under the pictures. Uh, uh, at the bottom of the page, yes, not under the pictures, and the stripey one with the navy uh, dots, it's also an exclusive paper, there is also a black and white hearts uh, paper in the uh, in the main kit, and I arranged the pictures, I also added some embellishments, uh, I wanted to use those flowers, they are uh, Hip Kit Club exclusive too, designed by Kim Watson, and I am playing with them, arranging them around my page, and 
this is the setup I want to follow so uh, basically I will just glue things down to my uh, to my page using a little bit of 3d foam squares and a little bit of white cardboard which I'm using uh, to add dimension to my page uh, I will also ruffle the edges of the paper strips that are at the bottom and at the top of the layout because it gives uh, this nice texture uh, for the page and and <laughs> I forgot what I wanted to say um, because the things they are still not glued down to the page I struggled uh, for a while uh, about the papers I should use because pictures are colorful each of them uh, has a different color setup so I decided I will just combine all the colors from three pictures on one page uh, by adding purple, yellow and pink and blue and stripes and everything. So it's just this colorful mix. And now it's time to glue things down. And I uh, cut it out this part of the video because you already seen how it all will be looking and uh, it would be a boring part to see me gluing down stuff. And now we are at the point where all the main stuff is glued down to the page and we can play with more embellishments. And those stickers you've seen before, they are from All the Good Things collection by uh, Vicky Bouten. They are printed on this very heavy white paper and they are um, a watercolor sticker. So they are supposed to be colored by you using watercolors or other, uh, or other uh, stuff like maybe uh, Copic markers on some, or something like that. But I decided to use them uh, as the black and white version. Um, I didn't want to add another colors to my page. I wanted just a contrast, but not exactly a new color added there are eight sheets of those stickers in packaging so you have plenty of stuff to play with and uh, now i'm just adding more and more stuff this are these are those are from pink Fresh studio a collection called mix number two so this collection is not um a collection with papers it's just a collection of embellishments with this uh, I would say universal. Can you say universal in English? Uh, so you have those basic uh, uh, basic inscriptions uh, matching to every theme and you can use them in planners, you can use them on layouts, on travel notebooks, you can find words for every occasion here and I really like those kind of collections so you don't have to uh, the, uh, add a theme, you can just add colors uh, without any special meaning. Um, I am following with adding more embellishments using the Pink Fresh Studio uh, stuff and the Vicky Button stuff and and I'm not sure <laughs> what I did next. I did this page a few days ago and when I do not record uh, the voiceover instantly I usually forget the next steps. Uh, those puffy star uh, puffy heart stickers are also from the mix number one uh, by Pink Free Studio and I really like uh, them. I love them. Uh, we got stars in December kits and hearts in, the, in January kits and they are so versatile. You can use them everywhere. They have all the colors of the rainbow and you can use them everywhere. Uh, now it's time to add a title. I wasn't very <laughs> creative here. I uh, added an Instax baby title. Uh, I have this baby uh, spelled already using uh, the red uh, thickers. They are from Main Squeeze collection. And now I'm going to add a word Instax using these tiny puffy stickers uh, in the yellow color. They are also from the mix one, uh, mix number two collection by Pink Fresh Studio. And you have many colors available in this uh, collection. Mm, and I think we will have a blue uh, set in February, kids. I haven't got them yet, but, but yeah, I think that they will uh, be 
uh, carrying some uh, other color. Uh, I also added these three numbers, one, two, three, from the foam tickers. They are from Vicky Bouten collection. And I am finishing my uh, project, adding hearts. Uh, those are the hearts I was talking uh, about previously. As you can see, you have plenty, plenty of colors and sizes and shapes. You can uh, easily use them in any project, as I said, and I am in love with them and I will probably buy some more um, because I already used like a half of the packaging. Uh, it was the same with the stars. And the final step is to adding a little bit of splatters and I am using the red mist color is uh, cherry. I think it's, um, it's a mist by Heidi Swap. It's a color shine and another splatters are created with black Indian ink and that's it. I finished the page. Yay! And uh, I hope you liked it and <laughs> forgive me uh, my um, noises around here. Uh, thank you for watching and if you would like to purchase the kit, uh, check the description, description box for the links to the HipKit Club site. Bye bye!